Hey everyone, welcome back to Anxiety Art Adventures. Hey Shay. Okay, so today I'm doing a post review of Luna Moth by Star Ore, and I enjoyed this diamond painting immensely. Um, it's a smaller size painting. It's a 46 by 47. Um, the drill area is 42 by 42, but this was a great um, break after doing Finishing Worlds Away by uh, Manny Manzano. Um, I always like to do a big one and then work on a smaller one and then go back to a big one. So uh, anyway, so this one is Luna Moth by Star Or. You can get this on Star Or's website, which I'll have that link down below. Um, this one is $25.99 on the website. I paid $7.80 to ship it. So my total was $33.79. Not bad, not bad at all. Um, and again, it's smaller than, you know, a, you know, normal 50 by 60 or 60 by 80, that kind of thing. But I really like this. So what I did with this one is I replaced anything that had AB diamonds that, and that was anywhere that was white that you see in here. I replaced all of those with glow in the dark drills. And I posted this on Instagram, so anybody who follows me on Instagram saw the glow-in-the-dark picture, but I will go ahead and insert the glow-in-the-dark picture here so that you can see what it looks like when it glows in the dark. What I should have done is probably just replaced the entire tail with the glow-in-the-dark drills. That probably would have made it look a little bit better and then also probably done the entire outline of the moth up here in white because none of this is white. It, star it starts like here and here. But you can still tell what it is. All of the little glittery things coming off are glow in the dark as well. It's really cool. So what I'm going to do is um, my best friend Sean is going to create a light box uh, for this diamond painting and we're going to put it in a light box with a UV, like an LED UV light um, that you can turn on and then you know at night it'll be lit up um, so that's really exciting we're gonna do that uh, so anyway okay so let's get into the actual canvas um, as you can tell uh, the canvas is very soft very pliable it's it's got like soft felt on the back of it um, lays out very nicely um, you can see how glittery everything is I mean, it's just beautiful. The camera doesn't do it justice at all. Um, it would be more glittery if you actually use the AB diamonds that came with it. Um, I'm sure it would be gorgeous with the AB diamonds as well. I just wanted to do something different and kind of throw my own twist on it. Since I do have these glow in the dark drills from Diamond Dots um, and I got these at Joanne's Fabric. Um, so you can, I think you can order these online, um, but I actually got these before the pandemic started uh, from an actual Joanne store uh, and some other rhinestone diamond dots as well. Okay, so like I said, that was, um, yeah, very shiny. I, I didn't have any problems with uh, popping drills. This is a round drill canvas. So with round drills, you, you don't normally have popping drills. You can, but normally you don't. Um, normally the popping drills is with um, when you use the square drills or if you're using a canvas that is double-sided adhesive which this is not all of Star Wars paintings are poured glue um, another huge plus uh, Star Wars is in my top five companies to purchase from so love love Star Wars and Lucy is awesome uh, with customer service if you have any questions she's um, very happy to respond I've never had any issues with with um, Star or as far as customer service goes. Um, I know some people have said they have, but you know, you got to remember we're in a pandemic. Um, it's going to take a while to get these. These do come from overseas, so it's going to take a little bit longer to get to me. I think I waited. It was like two or three weeks. So all in all, that's not bad um, in my opinion, and I'm willing to wait to get good quality canvases. So. Okay, so trash drill. Let me show you. Look, my new tray. Whee! Isn't that cool? Yeah. All right, trash drills. This is what I had um, for this painting. I will say, I, I had a little bit more trash than I would have liked. 
but any diamond painting you get, you're going to have trash. That's just how it is. Um, but yeah, let me hold that up so you can see it. I mean, just some, some drills that were broken in half. Um, some drills with like some knobbly bits on it. Um, which I mean, I guess this isn't too bad of an amount of trash drills for the size of the painting. So anyway, so yeah, so that's the trash drills. Come on camera. Oh, my camera. There you go. Um, yeah, so that was the trash I had. And then let me show you um, what I had left over. Okay, so these are all the drills. I did not run out of any drills. These are all the drills I had left over. Um, and I bag all of my drills. So, had plenty of drills uh, left over. Now, what I do is, and these are the glow-in-the-dark drills, so even though it looks low, I've got, I've got three more containers of these. So, um, what I do is I keep all of my drills, leftover drills, based on company um, and color. So, I have containers uh, when I kit down for, okay, I've got 3371 from Star Wars. So I pour this in the 3371 container um, for Star Wars. So I've got one for Diamond Art Club, one for Craftably, one for Star Wars. Because those are the three companies that I order from the most. Um, so I actually keep drills from those um, just in case, you know, if a drill pops off or, you know, if something is missing and you need to replace it, I like to keep my drills. So, um and I also try to be cognizant of the environment. I don't want to throw, just throw drills in the trash. Um, that's just personal preference though. So yeah. So I've also still got the, um, of course, the inventory sticker, which is lovely. It's my checklist for all of my colors. Um, that comes in every diamond painting that you get. So. Um, minimal trash, uh, plenty of diamonds left over, nice snack size painting. Um, highly recommend to get, if you haven't tried Star War, I highly recommend you to get one. Now, my personal preference is to get one off of Star War's actual website, StarWar.com. There are some on Amazon. I just, I prefer getting them from the actual, um, the actual company so um, yeah so there are lots of um, different paintings you can get on Star Wars I don't know what's in stock and what's not in stock um, I think I think I checked this morning uh, star this one is in stock Luna Moth um, and you can choose no it is only around uh, with one AB uh, 46 by 46 and it is $25.99 so um, this one is available right now on Star Wars. If anybody wants to grab it, I'll have that link down below. So anyway, let me know in the comments below if anybody has this diamond painting, if you've worked on it, what were your thoughts, uh, pros and cons. Um, the only con I would say I had on this diamond painting were um, that the drills slid around a little bit. And the way to fix that is to just let it sit open uh, let the canvas stay open with the plastic up and let it cure a little bit. And that way um, the drills, the glue will set a little bit and you'll not have drills um, sliding um, as much. But overall, love this diamond painting. Um, and the glow in the dark is just really cool. So I'm going to start incorporating glow in the dark drills with some of my other diamond paintings um, just to give it a different flair, see how that goes. Uh, but anyway, yeah, let me know in the comments below if anybody has this, has worked on it, if you do want to work on it. Um, I'd love to see your progress. You can follow me on Instagram. Um, and uh, yeah, love it. Absolutely love it. So anyway, hope everybody has an awesome day. Just wanted to give a post review of Luna Moth by Star Wars. So uh, have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. And I will see you again really soon. Bye, guys.